Seth Warner was a Revolutionary War officer from Vermont who rose to rank of Continental Colonel and was often given the duties of a brigade commander. He is best known for his leadership in the capture of Fort Crown Point, the Battle of Long Oi, the Siege of Quebec, the retreat from Canada, and the battles of Herberton and Bennington. Before the war, he was a captain in the Green Mountain Boys. He was outlawed by New York but never captured. In the final years of the war, he remained loyal to the United States while the independent state of Vermont negotiated separately with the British. Early life Seth Warner was born on the Connecticut frontier in Hilly West and Woodbury, now Roxbury. He was the fourth of ten children born to Dr. Benjamin Warner and Silence Heard Warner. His grandfather was Dr. Ebenezer Warner. Although Warner was not related to Ethan Allen, both men were cousins of Remember Baker, another notable Green Mountain boy captain. An early historian wrote that Warner was a fortunate and indefatigable hunter. As a teenager he served for two summers in the French and Indian War. Warner had a common school education. He learned the rudiments medicine from his father. A 1795 account of his life asserts that he had more information of the nature and properties of the indigenous plants and vegetables than any other man in the country and administered relief in many cases where no other medical assistance could at that time be procured. In 1763 his father purchased land in Bennington, now in the state of Vermont. A town act was chartered by a grant from the colonial governor of New Hampshire, Benning Wentworth, beginning in the mid-1760s. New York asserted that the boundary of the colony extended to the Connecticut River and the New Hampshire grant charters were illegitimate. It is likely the Warner family worked their land in the New Hampshire grants for two summers before settling full-time in 1765. Seth Warner was chosen highway surveyor and then captain of the town's militia company, Green Mountain Boy. During the land dispute with New York, Warner was a captain in the Green Mountain Boys, sometimes called the Bennington Mob, a militia organization that defended settlers in the New Hampshire grants against New York authority. Warner was second in command to Ethan Allen, who was spokesman and colonel commandant, but Warner often acted independently. Commanding the Bennington militia, Warner fortified Breakin Ridge's house and property against a large posse from Albany, New York, sent to evict the settler. No shots were fired, and the posse was turned back. Warner was outlawed by New York after he struck New York Justice of the Peace John Munro with the flat of his cutlass, following Munro's attempt to arrest Warner's cousin Remember Baker. But despite the violence, Warner gained a reputation as the Green Mountain Boy leader most likely to grant mercy to a New York settler. In one case, rather than burn a New Yorker's house, he allowed him to remove the roof and then replace it once he had bought a New Hampshire grant title.